okay, now we're going to jump in and we're going to start building a skill and we're going to take this process and break it into the, uh, the next couple of lessons to provide a high level overview of the process. You can step through this uh, as I'm going through it if you want to do that, or you can just kind of watch the process to get a sense of, of what's going on. We'll be building a custom skill later on, but for this lesson and the next couple of lessons, we'll be just walking through one of the skill examples or the example skills that Amazon provides to just get familiar again with the setup process and kind of how everything is working. Like we talked about in the last lesson, there are really two main parts that uh, a developer needs to uh, worry about when they're setting up a, a skill. The first part is configuring the voice user interface and the other part is providing the, the code or the functionality that is going to process and respond to requests that come in through that interface by users. And the, the first part of that, creating the voice user interface, is what we're going to take a look at in this lesson. And then we'll um, talk about the back end, which is the skill service in the, the next lesson. So the, the starting point for setting up a skill is to go to developer.amazon.com and set up a, an Amazon developer account if you don't have one already. An Amazon developer account is free, so you don't have to pay for anything. You um, just sign up. I'm not going to walk through the sign up process just because it's pretty straightforward. The, um, the only point I'll make on the developer account is that you probably, if you have an Amazon Echo set up in your you don't need to have an Echo to do Alexa development, but if you have one, you want to use the same email address with your Amazon developer account that you used for the account that you set your Echo up with. And the reason that you want to do that is because if you're using the uh, same email address or same Amazon account for both your developer account and your Echo, then you'll be able to test your skills with your Echo, which is kind of cool, even while they're in development. You don't need to have an Echo to do Alexa development. So if you don't have one, no worries. We'll, um, there's a, a really nice uh, test set up in here. So you don't have to have a, an Amazon Echo to do that. But if you do, then you want to use the same email address. Once you have signed up at developer.amazon.com, go ahead and log in. I'm already logged in. And then you would go to your Alexa consoles and then uh, skills. And this is going to bring you to your list of skills. If you don't have any, then you'll see something like this. Mine is empty right now. And you're going to start by creating a skill. And you're going to provide a skill name. And we're going to call this one Space Facts. And again, this is, a, this is an example skill that Amazon provides. And we're going to start with that to talk through what's going on. So I'm going to enter the name and then select the, uh, the default language that the skill is going to use. And in my case, it's US English. You also have support for um, different uh, dialects of English, Australian, Canadian, uh, Indian, and UK, English, and then uh, German, Japanese, and French as well right now. And then you choose next and you choose the model to add to your skill. And this is like the, the skill type. And we're gonna be working with a custom skill type right here, which is the, the most flexible of these skill types. This is where you're gonna get the, the most um, in terms of uh, capabilities that you can uh, provide as a developer. These, these other types uh, provide sort of more specific functionality that's outside the scope of this course. We're gonna be working with the custom skill. So you wanna select that and then choose create. And this will bring you into the skill configuration area here. And there, there's there's a lot going on in here. We're going to talk through um, we're going to talk through all this. It looks intimidating when you first get in here, but it's really not that bad once you go through it. At the uh, at the high level, what you're doing here is you're providing information that is going to be used to train the Alexa service to recognize requests for your skill and for the functionality that your skill provides. And that's all done through instructions that are provided in what's referred to as an interaction model. And we'll, we'll go through that in more detail a bit later, but uh, that's what's happening in this section here. 
The other big part of what we're going to do when we're set, setting up the skill is tell the skill how it's going to communicate with the skill service, which is the back end code that's actually going to provide the functionality. We're not going to talk about that in this lesson. We'll do that in the next lesson, but that's done in this interface. And then also from within here, you uh, are able to test your skill and we'll take a look at that after we get our skill fully set up and you can provide information to get your skill certified and launched in the Alexa skill store here. And then once your skill is live, you can get metrics on its usage over here in the measure section. So um, we are going to set this up using a template, like I said, or some example code. And we're gonna get that code from github.com. So if you go to github.com slash Alexa, you'll wanna find the sample node fact skill here. And um, in here, if you go to models, and then you're gonna pick the language that is the right language for your skill. In my case, it's this English US. And then I'm gonna just copy this. So just copy, and then we're gonna go back over here and we're gonna just paste it in here. So I'm at the JSON editor and I'm just pasting that in. So um, this is gonna create the interaction model. We'll talk about this in, in a lot more detail later in the course, but for right now, we're just going over the high level steps. But the interaction model is what's used to train the Alexa service, the machine learning for the Alexa service on how to recognize when your skill is uh, being requested, which is done through this here, the invocation name, which is space facts, which we could also set through the graphical user interface here. So anything that's done in the graphical interface is really just editing or changing this, uh, this JSON here that you can also see in the JSON editor. Um, and the, uh, the, the intents and which are what the functionality your skill provides and then how that functionality is, um, is, is gonna be asked for by the user. So utterances or samples here. And again, we'll go over this in, in more detail. But at this point, once we've got our, uh, our model in there and saved, we can build the model and building the model is uh, what trains the machine learning that's part of uh, Alexa. And so depending on how complex the model is, this can take a little while. So at this point, we've got our basic skill set up and the model building. And the next thing that we're gonna need to do is tell the skill how it's gonna communicate with our skill service. And we're gonna do that in the next lesson.